guys and welcome to my how-to on how I achieved this look. For this look you'll need an oil, a leave-in conditioner as well as gel. I'll leave all the product names in the description box and you'll also need a hard bristle brush, a soft bristle brush, a wide tooth detangling comb as well as the brush um, for those people with really stubborn hair and I've got this brush just in case and water very important water so you can do this on freshly washed hair today I'm doing my hair on my semi dusty hair um, I think I the last time I'd washed my hair was about three days prior I prefer doing this when my hair is a bit dirty because after I've done this style I like washing my hair So I like to start um, styling this hair from the back and what I do is I section my hair using a clip and I'll be applying my leave-in conditioner and then my oil and after I've massaged this or dis evenly distributed the oil and leave-in conditioner in my hair I will take the time to detangle because the more sleek or untangled your hair is the better this look will be. So next up, I'm using my Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Um, I apply this as if I'm applying relaxer. For those of you that have applied relaxer, um, yeah, like the very informal way of applying relaxer. So I start from my roots and work my way to the ends. Um, there's no real amount. I would say apply the gel to the point where um, there's a bit of a stretch when you brush your hair. Yeah, that's, yeah. Let's just say when you've applied the gel, your hair should look laid. You know what I mean? Even application of the gel is very important to achieve the sleek look. So distribute that gel as best you can. Um, my rule of thumb is the flatter or smoother, the better. Oh guys, I completely forgot, a very important um, element to this video is the hair ties. Um, so make sure you get some steelless hair ties and tie your hair after every gel section you complete. You'll see I'll be doing that throughout the video. So now I'm starting the process that I went through now again with another section of hair. Okay, so I am not a perfectionist when it comes to doing my hair. You'll notice with the videos that I've done, I don't really conform to straight lines because it gets the job, like the way I'm doing it gets the job done. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you do it super neat, you'll probably get better results, but the end result for this look also came out really, really good. Um, I don't know, I just feel like with natural hair, there's a, there's a level of patience you need to have. And there's just certain things you can't forgo. And straight lines are things that I do not need. In this instance. Just for sectioning here. Okay, so I am applying the gel on my hair again. Um, as I said before, apply it as though you are applying relaxer. You want a basically even distribution of the gel. Um, and if you don't distribute it evenly, you'll find that your hair will just start to lift um, unceremoniously. So make sure you distribute the gel as evenly as possible. So now I'm untying the section that I've done and using my hard bristle brush, 
and brushing this next layer on top of the previous layer um, and this is very important because it helps create that sleek look so hard bristle brush and then I'll follow this with the soft bristle brush you'll see me do that now it just helps smooth out the edges well it's not the edges but just it creates it helps finalize that smooth sleek look that you want to achieve when this look is complete I have high density hair um, and if you have high density hair as well I would definitely recommend that as you get higher up on your hair that you make these sections smaller um, yeah while well, sections layers smaller so that you can really lay down your hair correct you know what I'm saying Okay guys, so after using this hard bristle brush, I could feel that I had developed a few bumps on the side of my head. So I used this other brush, which has these longer bristles that help smoothen out the bumps. Um, look, your hard bristle brush should also do this, but if you've got high density hair like I do, um, this other brush really came in handy. As I said earlier on, I'm going to leave um, the details of the products I used in the description box. If you guys have any recommendations on gels I could use for um, getting this look, I'd really like them. Um, yeah, I'd like to try out a different gel because I've actually only used Eco Styler for this hairstyle. There's probably several ways to achieve this look, but this for me is the process that works. Um, and the products that I've used are not the end all be all. If you'd like to try other products, I encourage you to try them and experiment because you'll find that what works for my hair won't necessarily work for your hair. So don't be afraid to experiment. So guys, as you get closer to the front of your head, you need to start considering where you'd like your parting. Um, I've gone for a side path today. And yeah, as you can see, um, look, I've, I've actually tried, I, I've done middle path and side path using this method and both worked out quite well. So, I mean, go wild, whichever works for you. Um, yeah, I like to make my line just above the arch of my eyebrow. Yeah, it just feels better there. I also want to emphasize the importance of making sure that your leave-in conditioner and oil are massaged from the root of your hair to the ends of your hair because your hair is most sensitive at the end and you don't want your hair to start snapping off because it's too dry and i don't know i'm a little bit paranoid about gel 
so i always put in a little bit more care in this process when i am using gel on my hair and all of that when doing the top of your head i recommend spending a little bit more time laying um, your hair down and i also start putting my pins down because you know sometimes your hair just starts misbehaving um and i just put the pins down as a fail safe just in case my hair's gonna my hair tries to prop up um i'm still gonna put a silk scarf over this to finalize or seal in the look let's say So I've basically done the hard part now. I'm just making sure that I've captured or grabbed as much hair as possible and my hair's aligned. So I'm doing a final brush with my hard brush and then my soft brush on top of this, just so, you know, I seal in the deal. Okay, so now I am inserting hairpins in my hair. Um, at this point, I should have captured as much hair as possible. And the hairpins are for the more stubborn hair that doesn't want to lay down or just looks like they want to prop up. And I also just felt like um, there was parts of my hair at the back that looked a little bit big. So I used the pins to kind of push it down. So I'm laying my edges now and the reason why I smelt the toothbrush is this is the first time I'd ever used this um, molding gel and I must say I fully recommend it for anyone that's looking for um, an edge control that won't have build up. Uh, I'll leave the product description, uh, I'll leave the name of the product in the description box in case you want to look for it. and. I must say that I know a lot of people are not into laying the edges, but for this look, I prefer it. And to be honest, with most looks, I, I enjoy laying my edges. Um, I don't know, it just I just feel as though it just brings the whole look together. And you know what? I don't know, if you if you don't want to lay your edges, girl, go about your bed self. Um, yeah, so this is me laying my edges. Yeah, I was very excited with this gel because um, it was really doing them teams, man. Now, probably for the most important part of this is your silk scarf. Um, I'm using a bonnet that I've designed myself. If you want to order one, hit me up on Instagram. So this will help create the laid vibe as well as giving you those sexy waves. So guys, um, I kept this bonnet on for 15 minutes and I was good to go. Look what she did. Now I'm going to add some hair piece to give my hair a bit of a zhuzh. Um, I'm on my way to an event so I just wanted to add something, a little something, something to it to give it a more glamorous vibe. And all I'm doing is attaching the hair piece with a hair scrunchie that I have. And this is not it's not special hair, it's just like hair that was left over from when I did braids. 
and I'm twisting it around my pony and pinning it in to secure it. So now I'm doing the final touches to this look. I bought this hair accessory from a store called Lovisa to add a bit of glam to my look. And now I just want to sort out what's happening here at the back. Um, so all I'm doing is spraying my hair and applying gel to my back hair. Uh, I know some people call it nape. My mom calls it jibabs. Whatever you want to call it, remember to get it laid um, because it makes a huge impact on the final product of your hair. And this is it. I'm done. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video useful and let you know, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, share. Subscribe.